Well, I knew this would happen eventually, but I just didn't think it would be this uh, not good. Dream lose 73-96 to against the Las Vegas Aces. Let's talk about the game, I guess. Needless to say, uh, the Atlanta Dream uh, really got taken back down to earth in this one. I mean, they had a good showing against Dallas and an even better one against L.A., but, well, they had to run into this eventually now, didn't they? But if this team is going to hang with the rest of the league, well, I mean, they're going to have to face more competition like this anyway. Well, going into this game, I mean, we all knew that Tanisha Wright had been a pretty solid coach so far, but she's going up against Becky Hammond, who is also in her first year as a head coach. Becky Hammond, uh, she really needs no introduction now, does she? Um, same starting lineup as the last two games. You know, why, why change what's been working so far? Um, still no Tiffany Hayes, though. No Tiffany Hayes and still no chance to uh, break out the old school jersey here. Um, but Kia Vaughn is back from her hamstring injury, though, and the Dream will certainly need her. Uh, the Dream are wearing their third jerseys, which, uh, excuse my bias, but those are easily the best third jerseys in the entire league. I have every intention of buying one later on this year. Uh, no idea who's going on the back. Most likely it'll be uh, Ryan Howard. Maybe Erica Wheeler. Maybe. I don't know. It'll it'll be a, a game time decision, I guess. Uh, one thing I noticed here before the uh, before the tip off, the pre tip off uh, handshakes and fist bumps between the two teams, really make gives it a uh, kind of a Ring of Honor feel almost, which is kind of fitting since both Atlanta and Las Vegas are Ring of Honor strongholds. All right, now to start off with some good things here. Atlanta did a pretty good job of uh, defending without fouling, uh, not really doing a whole lot of scoring early on, but then again, neither was Las Vegas. Although it wasn't a very good sign that uh, the Dream had two turnovers in the first three minutes. Uh, Kelsey Plum scores two three-pointers to start the scoring. I mean, it took them a little while, but hey, they made it on the board. And they also seem to be uh, outmaneuvering the Dream pretty damn well. Even with two consecutive fouls, Vegas just kept putting up points and putting up points, just taking advantage of all the turnovers that Atlanta kept giving them. And not only that, but they were really keeping uh, Ryan Howard away from the hoop. She scored only two points in the first. And not that she was doing a bad job, it just the Aces just weren't giving her any space at all. I mean, she's doing the best that she could to get out of their one-on-one -on -one coverage like she did the last two games, but the Aces were just everywhere, and they were just completely smothering the Dream and scoring from everywhere. Uh, going into the second quarter, I'm not really expecting much, but uh, Ari McDonald, though, looks like she's uh, finally figuring out just how aggressive she should be playing. Uh, not pushing herself too hard, but she's really not leaving anything else to be desired either. Monique Billings scored two... I'm sorry, three two-pointers early in the second, and she looked like to be the one to kind of lead the charge. Not that it had too much of an effect, but, you know, we still, we, we need somebody like that. Uh, we didn't see our first free throw until about six minutes into the second, which was a little bit surprising since Vegas had been really frustrating the Dream all game long, but hey, at least the Dream are showing that they can stay out of foul trouble, at least for now anyway. Uh, Ryan Howard still can't get any good shots off, especially against Jackie Young. Jackie Young was doing a tremendous job of blocking Ryan Howard, and everyone else for that matter. Um, Chelsea Gray was easily the Aces MVP of the second quarter, just sinking absolutely everything. Although Cheyenne Parker did go on a bit of a hot streak, if nothing else for Atlanta, but still, they trailed at the half 33-49. to uh, Not a whole lot to say about the third quarter, though. Um, fourth minutes into the third, the announcers pointed out that the Dream were looking a little bit tired which I couldn't really disagree with. Again, they were just chasing the game and just chasing the ball the whole damn time. Uh, Ryan Howard, though, she got hit in the face uh, inadvertently. It looks like it was a, an errant uh, elbow there. Uh, not sure how bad it got her, at least not at the time, but uh, she had to step off the court for a little while. We wouldn't see her again until uh, the fourth. Um, fortunately, though, Ari McDonald, she looked more energetic than I had ever seen her in her pro career, though. She's just nailing shots, and she's communicating well with her teammates. Again, she's being a real shot caller out there. Uh, there haven't really been a whole lot of positive things about the Dream this game, but Ari McDonald is absolutely making the most of her playing time, pretty much picking up exactly where she left off uh, in the last game against L.A. The fourth quarter, again, I, did, I don't have a whole lot of notes here because really what the hell else is there? Ryan Howard finally came back three and a half minutes into the fourth. Her lip looked a little bit swollen and kind of busted, but you know what? If she feels like she can play, I'm not going to tell her no. Uh, going back to Ari McDonald, though, she was something else. She was somebody else. She led the Dream in points with 20. She was easily the most energetic player, which up to this point had been uh, Ryan Howard pretty much the entire way. She was second in points with 14, and I really, really hope she doesn't get too discouraged by this game and really come out swinging on Sunday. Um, with her big performance tonight, maybe Ari McDonald uh, actually gets a start against Indiana on Sunday. 
Speaking of which, the Fever are now 2-2, two and two, coming off a pretty big win against uh, New York. So, hey, we'll see if uh, Ari and Ryan can uh, hang out with uh, Kelsey Mitchell and uh, Nelissa Smith. Guess I'll see you then.